All right. All right. So it looks like it's recording. So I'm gonna take you show you a little example of what I've been working on. This is a procedurally generated building. Uh, right now, I'm just using a star shape, but it can work with any shape whatsoever. Uh, well, within limits. Uh, very sharp curves, uh, sharp lines like that, sharp angles. Uh, I don't know how to get that uh, to work right. So you'll like you'll still be ended up with some very small, strange rooms like that. But you know, if you had a building that's designed like a star, you're going to end up with some really weird shapes. Uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, as you can see, here's the outside of the building. I should have added more windows. Uh, let some light in. Uh, hallway, stairs, but here's the best part. Using a plugin called Alter Mesh, I can just drag and drop my uh, Geometries node mesh directly into Unreal. And then uh, there's a little convert button. It doesn't show up here, but uh, if I had just this sitting there, there'd be a convert button. And what it does is it converts it into a static mesh. Um, can double click on it. Click uh, use complex collision as simple under, com uh, colli ah, under collision complexity. Um, and boom, you have from Geonodes a mesh inside Unreal Engine that is player ready. Uh, it does not work with Unreal Engine 5, it does work with 4.26 and 4.27, and I'll give you a little demonstration of it. Uh, there's still a little bit of bugs here and there. Um, but you can see I can, I can shoot off of the wall, it bounce off the wall. Um, I'm going to add in walls here so this becomes a stairwell. This is actually a hallway. Um, I haven't redone that properly. Uh, there actually would be a door right here uh, and these wall the mirror ah, windows would be spaced out correctly. I haven't done that part so there's basically a hallway that I can't get out of or through. But you see the stairs work, all the walls work. Uh, you can see out the windows. Well that's a hallway but you get the point. Uh, Keep on going. Uh, and this is, I can build out an entire city of uh, procedurally generated, uh, I'm stuck on whatever this is. Ah, I can see daylight out the top. Let me go. Let me go. I want to jump off the building. All right, uh, escape. Uh, let's start over. All right. I'll be try to be more careful not to uh, fall into the little death trap right there. I don't know why that's glitchy, uh, but the, for whatever reason, Unreal Engine doesn't like these hallways, but I'm planning on redoing them anyway. And the thing about this is I redid my procedural building generator. Uh, when I first made it, everything was made out of cubes. Um, this was before the uh, extru extrude mesh uh, node came out, um, so you couldn't, you know, use ex extrude because there wasn't one. But now there's an extrude node mesh, so everything you see here is actually made from curves. I take a line and I extrude it which is basically stretching it. Uh, so I take a two-dimensional object, I stretch it into a, a... Actually, no, I take a one-dimensional object and I stretch it into two dimensions. And then I give it thickness and you end up with this. Yep, see windows that you can see through. Um, there is some glitchiness right there because they're not dual-sided uh, faces within 
unreal. Like here, what, that's... Hmm, that's not a hallway. Ah, that must be because of the wall intersecting. Um, there are some issues with some walls intersecting other walls where windows would be. Uh, that is all fixable. I just haven't got around to fixing it uh, because it's something like this has a lot of special cases. Uh, as far as this right here, I don't know why this is not working. Um, I mean, it's a bug, but I, I had everything working before. Is that an outside window? Uh, that is not. I'm trying to find an outside window. Actually, if I go to the stairs, um, there is the hallway. Let's see if I can actually run down the hallway. Ah, I got stuck. I don't know why it does not like the hallway. Oh, I'm free. Alright, so... Go down to the hallway. And there's the exits. Uh, like, uh, the hall. Oh. I know why. Uh, the, the normals are flipped. Um, in video game terms, the normal is the direction the wall is facing. Uh, except it's not the entire wall, it's just, like, the part you see. Like, that's called a face. Uh, so each cube has six faces, top, bottom, left, and right. But if the game thinks that the face is facing inward, you get this type of weird effect, where you can see through it. Um... Yeah, it's, uh, uh, I should get more windows. Uh, like I said, there are some, some issues. <laughs> oh, I forgot to make the windows bigger. Uh, if I make them bigger, they'll actually wrap around. I'll show you what you mean, what I mean. Uh, let's delete this one. And I'll put in the original. These things are huge. I got it just absolutely massive. So I can go over here, window width, and set it to, say, 6. And then number of windows, number of front windows, 100. Now, uh, I've got a hundred outside windows. And you can see what I'm talking about where the, the normals are flipped where you can see the frame on the outside but you can't see the frame on the inside. Um, in Blender, which is what I made this in, Blender automatically says that both sides are facing outward. So it doesn't matter if it's flipped or not. So I can't see inside Blender what Unreal Engine is going to think is the inside and the outside. Uh, let's give these windows some more height. Where is window height? There we go. Uh, let's see. Let's make them three. Yeah. Let there be light. I mean, look at this. And, oh, yeah. I even have windows that go around sharp corners. Um, I can make this uh, circle. I can't do it right now, uh, but it's as simple as just ha adding a little checkbox into the uh, geo nodes and just, you know, circle, square, rectangle, star. Uh, I designed it where you could make it into any shape. Uh, however, Unreal Engine does not work very well with splines. Um, so I can't just draw, a spl as far as I know, I can't just draw uh, a curve and it just work. I can do it in Blender uh, pretty easily, but not in Unreal Engine. Um, so wall, window, wall, window. And then 
if I want to convert this, I can just go down here, click convert, static mesh, yep, yep. That just puts it right here. Wait a couple seconds. Okay, this is the longest it's ever taken. There we go. And then pull this up. Project default, use complex is simple. Save it. And let's run it again. Look how much more light there is. I mean, that. So much more light. I do gotta fix the frames, though. Um, but look at this. You're inside the building. Now, once I finish this little project, you'll be able to have an entire city at the click of a button. Uh, automatically set to whatever grid you want, uh, or no grid at all. And it just places them um, wherever they should be, in whatever shape you Yeah, this is what happens when uh, it doesn't understand what side the the wall is facing. Uh, it's due to the to to using extrude instead of making using boxes and just squishing and big, making them bigger. Uh, extrude, as far as Unreal Engine goes, extrude makes them think that they're backwards. It, it's weird how Unreal Engine thinks about them. But I think that's everything.